Well, good afternoon, everybody. Um, Jennifer Ferguson here with Artistic Painting Studio. And um, we're going to have some fun today um, with some cowboy boots, okay? Uh, so my goal today is to show you how I have um, foiled my cowboy boots in the past. And I'm going to be doing another pair. So this is the pair that I've done before. Okay, yes, these were foiled in... Um, our bronze gold leopard foil okay pretty cool so a little bit about foil for those that don't know anything about um, this wonderful product okay and foils are basically a metalization that is on the back of plastic so the side that you are looking at right now is the plastic okay the foil itself is actually the metalization on the back side of this and that is the side that you transfer to the sticky surface I'm going to tell you about in a minute and it pulls okay it pulls the metalization off of the plastic and transfers it to another surface um, now is this a perfect system oh heck no okay no hell no so you have to kind of just understand when you're getting ready to do anything with foils that it's never going to be perfect but we embrace all those imperfections and um, make them absolutely gorgeous and put them as part of our whole our whole idea okay so if you guys have any questions about foils please let me know okay um, so basically the whole thing with foils is having a foil that is easy to release okay because they were never designed um, to do what we actually are doing with them okay um, so they were never designed to just pull off um, so we had to create a very very sticky adhesive um, which is my product called uh, foil adhesive and I just got it in a big bucket just and uh, it is wonderful okay it creates a really really sticky surface that yes you could transfer leaf over but it was meant and designed to transfer foils because we need that really 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 sticky surface to make it work um, so the first step we have to do okay so I've got my big gallon of um, foil adhesive okay and that way you guys can see in the tub here too uh, it looks milky white okay it's a liquid a thick liquid it's not um, it's not too thin okay and all you have to do is just brush it on and that's all I did okay so just brush this on but you want to make sure that you are getting good coverage not that you want to glop it on by any means okay but if there is no adhesive there will be no transfer because there won't be anything sticky okay so you've got to have a good good sticky uh, base coat of this so that you will get a transfer so as you can see I am just brushing brushing on the foil adhesive to my boot trying not to let it get piled anywhere too thick okay that way it dries pretty fast okay and that's good thing I should bring up right now is um, dry time guys so once you put your foil adhesive on your surface I'm trying not to get my arm at the same time you guys <laughs> um, you want to let this stuff sit for at least an hour okay uh, the longer it sits and tacks up the better it is so I would recommend especially on something kind of a crazy surface as a pair of cowboy boots let it sit maybe for an hour or two so as you put it on you can see it looks milky white okay but as it starts to dry you can see my boots going completely clear where I start at first okay it's going com completely clear now you can kind of see um, this one's the wet one and this one's the dry one so you can see that it did dry completely completely clear now the one thing it did um, is it made the leather a little darker okay which I think is kind of great um, because I think the darker leather is going to look really good um, this was the transformation that I did last time okay uh, and I wanted to still use some of the leopard but we're going silver this time and but I was wanting to also see about incorporating a little bit of the teal with that okay so I'm trying to see if my concept is <laughs> is something I want to put on this boot or not okay um, and if we do the crinkling okay and we just do a little bit of random rubbing okay so we can see even though I'm not pushing really hard it's just transferring a little bit here and there then we could come back and maybe put 
the leopard in between and get coverage over the top of that. So then you kind of have a combination of your uh, teal and leopard together. Now that might be kind of fun, okay? So that's why I'm experimenting, okay? I always try things out first before I normally go for my projects, okay? okay but I think what I'm gonna do is crinkle up my teal, okay? And my teal is actually sea foam is the color that I'm using. So I think I'm gonna crinkle that up and pounce that randomly, okay? So I get it every bit, little bits and pieces and then I think I'll come over with the leopard, okay? And um, fill in. So that way you'll have broken leopard with that color. Uh, going to crinkle it up. I'm going to get my hand in here so that I get something to, um, something it can push on, okay? So I have something uh, for resistance, okay? And I'm going to randomly scrub, okay? So I'm not scrubbing everywhere because I just want bits and pieces. And I'm not sure I really even want it to go down to this bottom section where this, the seam is, okay? I think I might just want leopard down there. So that's where I was kind of concerned about, you know, maybe if I'd done this in sections instead, that might have been easier, okay? So we're getting some nice random coverage. Ooh, that's pretty. Okay, so this is where it gets tricky now, okay? Because there's foil missing from the back of this. So do I risk using this piece again, or do I just go get a clean piece, okay? That's where I was really trying to warn you guys about when you um, start using foil randomly, okay? Because uh, we don't want it to get stuck and pull um, the adhesive off this boot. Um, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and maybe try just a little bit back here. random rubbing and see what we're getting okay okay I think we're gonna have to let that go now and get ourselves a clean fresh piece so we do not have any oops okay this piece okay trying to get the most of it okay and you guys let me know if I'm not have things positioned where you can see well okay and again I'm gonna rough random scrub okay and we don't want it below that edge, so I'm gonna kind of rub it right up to that edge, okay? And then check and see. Okay, so I can also partially remove it, okay? And not take it all the way off. And if I decide, ooh, I'd like some more over here, I can put it right back down and rub there. So before you completely remove it, you can peek underneath and determine if you want more of the teal, okay? So that's one way to use the piece better before removing it, because once you completely remove it, then I don't want you guys to position this on your boot again, okay? Oh, that is just looking so fun. So I'm just gonna use smaller little pieces and place them randomly where I think I want a little bit more color um, and just, just rub, okay? Just rubbing with my finger. because now I want to make sure I've got about the equal amount on both sides. And I think my first side, I didn't put as much on. We are going to get the leopard and I'm going to be smart and I'm going to do what I've been doing already. And we're going to cut into smaller manageable pieces because um, I think there's less waste this way, you guys, that, you know, even though uh, we're still we still have some waste, okay? I'm gonna cut this one a little bit smaller. Um, we don't have as much waste, I think, when we're cutting in the smaller manageable um, sizes. Okay, let's, okay, I always like to maybe get my extra foils out of the way because you don't want them to get stuck, okay? So if there's anything around that has the adhesive on it, your foils can get stuck in them so easy. Okay, now this time, I don't have to worry about so much my placement because I know I'm gonna do the whole bottom in the, um, the leopard, okay? So I think I'm gonna do the whole bottom solid leopard and just have the till up here. And if I decide, I could always come back and do some hand embellishing 
um, and like bring the stitching back out maybe and hand embellish that or even hand embellish the stitching around here or even I could paint the bottom of the boot teal, okay? So there's a way I think I can bring the color back down. So I'm not gonna worry like I was trying to stay above the stitching, okay? This time I don't have to worry. Okay, let's make sure we don't get stuck upside down. And okay, now I am going to um, I'm going to press a little harder. I'm going to do more scrubbing because we want okay, we want to try to get full coverage. Okay, so we're going to peek. We're going to see what we're getting here so far. Okay, so what it's doing right now is it's grabbing all the high area and it's not getting into the low area yet. So I want to be able to put that foil right back on and make sure that it's getting into the low area as well, okay? So I'm just gonna scrub a lot harder, okay? So I'm gonna get in here and see if I can scrub with my finger and get more coverage. Okay, that's actually, I think, doing a little bit better than the scrub brush did. So I'm scrubbing with my fingernail. And you know what? We use whatever we have to use to get a good coverage and to get things to work. So um, don't think that the scrubber brush is the be all and end all and the only way to transfer you guys. Um, sometimes our finger and our fingernails are gonna do just as good if not better. I'm gonna go teal leopard and then I'm gonna come back and backfill again with teal again. And I think that'll give me what I'm hoping for, okay? Because I was really looking to get rid of that leather color and make it disappear. So I think it's going to take a little bit more work um, or maybe let my adhesive even dry longer, okay? Now I know it's been drying for a couple hours. I hope you guys can see it over the stitching where it's just picking up a little bit of the detail on the stitching. And I think that looks so cool, okay? So I'm going to be smart, you guys. I'm going to cut off the section where the foil is removed, okay? So now I don't have to worry about anything, okay? I got maybe one little area where there's a tiny bit missing, but I'm better off doing that than accidentally getting a whole big section that could get stuck upside down, okay? Or get stuck and nothing but plastic is sticking to that boot. Look at, and I'm going to continue to do that because I think you guys, you'll just find that you're going to manage your foil better and foil manage your scraps, okay, and make the most of them by cutting them and not worrying about having something get stuck, okay, where it could pull off the adhesive um, or just not transfer really well, okay. Okay, I'm going to seal the boots. Okay, and um, that was one thing I was looking for before I even started the live, okay? Um, if I remember right, okay, I know I sealed these final coat, okay, in the low gloss. Um, or you could use the final coat even in um, a regular gloss and maybe just um, one or two coats, okay? The thing you don't want to do is use something and build it up too strong and get it to where... Um, it could get too hard, okay? Because you want it to stay flexible because your boots are flexible. And the other thought I had, <laughs> let's just wax those boots, okay? But yes, you've got to protect it because the foils themselves, um, and I'll show you guys on here, okay? So the foils themselves are vulnerable, okay? So I can scratch them. And, you know, you could, I don't know if you guys can see that, um, but there's a scratch mark on there now from me scratching it with my fingernail. So you do have to cover the foils, no matter what you use them on, okay? These are all our foils, okay? So they're from our foil line that we carry here. 